Hi guys, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and Bazinga, and Chloe, and I just wanted to do a really quick little snippet video, look at Chloe, uh, and talk about catnip, and talk about uh, catnip in particular, from what Scotty has to say in Cunningham's Book of Magical Herbs. So, one way... I'll, I, I suppose I can read the whole thing, it won't take long, but I'll say what I, I wanted to catch on this as we look at Chloe. Uh, okay, so catnip, folk names, cat, catmint, canept, catrip, cat's wart, Chloe, field bomb, nipita, or nip, okay, gender, feminine, and that makes sense because I immediately thought of Bast, or Bastet, the Egyptian deity that uh, is one of my mains, yeah? Uh, powers, cat magic, love, beauty, happiness, magical uses. Given to your cat, catnip recreates a psychic bond between the two of you. It is also intoxicating to the cat. Now, it creates a psychic bond between the two of you. Bazinga here is nearing the end of her days. She wants to hang out under this light and never go outside. And uh, she's just so weak and so thin. And uh, as you can see on her back up here, she's just all skin and bones. And she, we feed her the best top quality food. Um, unlike with the other kitties, they do fine on the regular food uh, that's good quality. But we have to give her top quality. We give her raw meat. We give her all kinds of things to help. But... She's just uh, getting there. Um, she's eight or nine, we think. We got her in Montana, and they didn't know how old she was, but they could guess she was five or six years old at the time. And uh, she was um, living in a farm in Montana. So before she goes to pass on... There we go. Catnip. Uh, before she goes to pass on, you know, which is, I'm saying, coming eventually, right? Because we're all getting closer every day, but she's probably closer than a lot of us. Uh, you know, that's a great thing, is to psychically bond with your cat or stimulate them into the awakening of this world with you again, because this is very stimulating. As you can see, I sprinkled a little bit on Chloe's belly, and she's, she's, uh, just a, just a tiny bit I sprinkled on her, and she'll just go nuts, but... When we're this close to the end um, with a kitty, uh, just that's so cool that catnip recreates a psychic bond between the two of you. And especially if you've had the cat since a kitten, since like I did with Chloe, you create a really beautiful psychic bond between the two of you when you're loving them like a mother, like a, you know, it's, it's just very interesting because it's different species, but you can still love them like a mother. I mean, the smartest person in the world, I'm just kidding, but kind of not really, uh, made one of those cat tongues for humans because our instinct is to lick them. And it, you can't because you'd get cat hair in your mouth. They made this thing you can bite on and it's a cat tongue and it like cleans your cat. It's so crazy looking. But anyway, uh, back on to what Scotty has to say. Catnip is used in love sachets, usually in conjunction with rose petals. If you hold catnip in your hand until it is warm, then any then hold anyone else's hand. They will forever be your friend. So have some catnip in your hand, hold it until it's warm all the way through, maybe for like three or four minutes, and be looking at that person that you love, really, while you're holding it, or that you want to love you, and hold their hand after that, and they will forever be your friend as long as you keep the catnip you use for the spell in a safe place. Okay, so the stuff you had in your hand, you need to actually keep that forever in order for them to always be your friend. That's interesting. Uh, grow near the home or hung over the door. Catnip attracts good spirits and great luck. Catnip is also used in spells designed... Here's some more catnip, Chloe. Let's see how nutty you go. All over your paws. Uh, okay, so, ca and they can totally eat it. It's fine. They'll try to eat it, and that's just what they do. Uh, okay, so, oh, also, if you have a, it's kind of like Ritalin and people, uh, not that I support the use of drugs, but, like, if a cat just won't calm down, give it catnip, and it will calm down. It, d it does the opposite of whatever you are. So if you're a wild, crazy person, it'll calm you down, and if you're calm and chill like a cat, it will make you nuts. Uh, okay, it's at least from what I've seen, you guys, with my, the, the personalities of my five different cats. 
Um, <clears throat> grown near the home or hung over the door, catnip attracts good spirits and great luck. Catnip is also used in spells designed to enhance beauty and happiness. Think of Bastet. She is beauty and happy all the time. Large catnip leaves are pressed and used as bookmarks in magic texts. You guys, we have to make magic catnip bookmarkers. Um, say bye, Chloe girl. Bye. All right. See you guys soon. Thanks for joining me, Chloe, Bazinga, and Scotty. Jen the Taxidermy Witch.